in this lesson, I'll discuss fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers are required to be installed in every workplace and are required to be updated regularly. There are four classes of fire extinguishers for different types of fires. They are color-coded for quick identification. Type A is identified by a green triangle and is sometimes also identified with a picture showing burning wood next to a burning trash can. This extinguisher is used for fires involving ordinary combustibles like cloth, wood, paper, rubber, and many plastics. These types of fires usually leave ashes after they burn, so a convenient way to recall type A is to think of A for ashes. Type B is identified by a red square, and it's sometimes also identified with a picture showing a gas container near a fire. This extinguisher is used for combustible vapors and flammable liquids like oil, gasoline, paint, and solvents. These substances often come in barrels, so to recall what type B extinguishers are used for, think B for barrels. Type C is identified by a blue circle and is sometimes also identified with a picture showing an electrical cord and outlet with flames. This extinguisher is used for electrical fires such as wiring, energized electrical equipment, and other electrical sources. Electricity travels with current, so to remember type C, think C for current. Type D is identified by a yellow star and is sometimes also identified with a picture showing a burning gear and bearing. This extinguisher is used for metal fires such as magnesium, titanium, sodium, potassium. Fire extinguishers also have a number rating which specifies the extinguisher's capacity or the size of the fire it is rated to extinguish. Know what your fire equipment is designed to handle before a fire breaks out, so you don't put yourself or others in harm's way. Thanks for watching. Okay. Can someone get the lights? Thanks.